Researchers at Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, are developing a filter that rapidly kills bacteria in water. At least one billion people in the world lack access to clean water. The researchers hope their filter will be used in the developing world. Its main advantages are speed and low power requirements. The process is really simple. So um, we can start off with uh, just two inks. So this is a carbon nanotube ink. Uh, on the side, and then we've got um, silver nanowire ink over here, and this one's in water, and this is just in methanol. So then we can make the filter, it's just a two-step process. So you can see here that um, we can just apply the ink like you might any dye, and it, uh, it turns the fabric black, um, but also we um, get a significant amount of carbon nanotubes that are going to be deposited, and as the water dries, the nanotubes are actually um, uh, going to be pulled tight to the um, to the cotton fibers. Then we pull it out. You can see it's it's black now, and its uh, electrical resistivity at this point will be about a hundred ohms uh, per square. So then we uh, normally we take this out and we actually dry it off completely on a another hot, on a hot plate. The process will be almost exactly the same for the uh, silver nanowires. We're going to put the ink on and then. Uh, and then if we were making a real filter, uh, we'd uh, dry it off on a hot plate. So I have here several filters that you can see that we've made uh, that are different. And so this filter uh, has just been treated with the carbon nanotubes. And you can see it looks uh, black after drying. And this one has uh, just been treated with silver. And uh, so you can see it's kind of gray looking. And uh, the silvers don't wrap around the carbon uh, around the cotton fibers because they're too big. Mm -hmm. So the overall resistivity of this is actually uh, bigger, much bigger than um, the hybrid filter. So it doesn't work as well for the water treatment process. And so the um, hybrid filter here, you can see, is mostly black. But if you look closely, it's actually um, grayer than the uh, just carbon filter. Okay. So uh, once we've uh, taken the filter. We actually, for our laboratory setup, uh, we just take the filter and kind of roll it into a little um, piece like this. That's actually a 2.5 uh, centimeter, or about a one square inch uh, piece of uh, cotton. And we can just kind of stuff it in this um, glass funnel here. And then we get the filter uh, is now a slug of material in the, uh, in the glass tube. The laboratory setup is actually quite simple. We just have a counter electrode here that we'd hold at ground. And then um, the, uh, we use the other alligator clip to connect to the filter down there. And then we can apply between these two electrodes uh, a voltage. And we need about 20 volts um, for this setup. Uh, we just take the water solution and we connect these to an electrical uh, power source. Uh, and then we can just pour the water through. And you can see that it's going to, uh, first it's going to hydrate the filter. And then it'll, um, it'll run down.